Good morning. As we meet together today, we remember that even though we are in our own homes, we are not alone because we are united with one another through the love and the saving grace of Jesus our Lord. So let us turn our thoughts to him in prayer. O oh Lord our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that we can come together to worship you, safe in the knowledge that you hear our prayers. Help us today to think of the, f the feelings of others as much as we think of our own. We know that there are many things that we, with which we do amongst others. Help us not to do these things that hurt them. If we know that there are things that will please you and will please others, help us to go out of our way to do them. Help us to think before we speak so that we thoroughly, not, not thoughtlessly or tactlessly, hurt or embarrass anyone else. If we have to differ with anyone, help us to do so with courtesy. If we have to argue with anyone, help us to do so without losing our temper. If we have to find fault with anyone, help us to do it with kindness. If anyone has to find fault with us, Help us to accept it with good grace. Help us always to treat others as we would wish them to treat us. We ask you to bless, O oh God, the people who are thinking and praying for us, for our families, our friends and our loved ones. Bless those who have no one to remember them and no one to pray for them. We think of the aged, the lonely, the friendless and those who have no one to love and no one to love them. Bless those who especially need our remembrance and our prayers. We think of Nigel Atherton who died earlier this week. Be with John and the family at this time, that they may know your love and your care. Bless those who are in illness and in pain, especially members of our own congregation. We ask you to bless all those who are suffering from and recovering from COVID-19. Let them know your presence with them and your ever-loving care. And lastly, grant here a grateful heart for all our gifts, a contrite heart for all our sins, a heart at peace because it rests in you. Hear our prayers in and through your love's sake. Amen.